Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. In the studio with us is Cape County Clerk Kara Clark Summer, joining us to talk about those volunteer opportunities when the election day comes around. Kara, how you doing? Hi, good. Thanks for having me. Very, uh, very busy time for you, I, I assume. Yes, it is. Yes, so, so as we uh, as we look at uh, November November fifth, uh, which will be here before we know it. Uh, I know we were kind of speaking before the show about some really final kind of preparations that are taking place with your office and, and with the state. Yes, so today is the last day actually, September 10th, to um, the, finalize things for the ballot with a court order. So we have several of the amendments are in litigation, and so after 5 p.m. today, we should know what is going to be on the ballot. And then we have the task of putting all that together and hopefully having that out to the public within this next week. So what does that look like for you as far as getting that all put together? Well, that's a, it's really an important part of the puzzle because um, you have to have everything accurate going on the ballot all the way down to everybody's spelling of names and the accurate order that they're in um, all the way down to anybody holding an election outside of um, the state uh, candidates and county candidates that will be on the ballot. So we have um, some statewide amendments and a question for the city of Cape. And uh, I know uh, absentee uh, voting will be coming up as well pretty soon? Yes, that start begins uh, September 24th, and so we're preparing for that, and then we're going to select a location to house that in Cape because um, our Cape office will not be able to handle that for the last few weeks of absentee. So all of these things are in preparation, uh, making sure we have enough uh, workers and locations to vote, and um, all of these things are happening currently in preparation, so we're ready to go on September 24th for absentee voting. So uh, you, you've got your, your hands pretty full right now, don't you? Yes, yes, <laughs> and everybody wants to vote in this election, so which is great. Yeah. But um, yeah. So do you hear that, a lot of that feedback from the, from the public? Uh, yes, yes, we've had a lot of people already calling our office, uh, stepping into our office personally, saying, I want to vote now because I'm going to be out of town and things like that. So uh, people are really wanting to make sure they get to vote in this election. And if, yeah. if you mentioned the absentee voting, uh, there are some qualifications to be able to do that? Yes, for the first four weeks, if you're going to be absent on election day or you're confined um, or physically disabled. Um, also, the law was expanded for healthcare workers, um, emergency management, um, law enforcement. So those people could also cast an absentee ballot because of their hours. Um, so that's that's been a good thing. And then two weeks before the election is a no excuse period where anybody can vote uh, before election day if they would like to. And of course we have our, our location in Cape and then we'll have a location in Jackson for people to do that. So you anticipate the absentee voting to maybe be higher than it has been in years past? I do. And this will be the first time that we've had the no excuse period for a presidential election. So, but I do think just with the inquiries we've already had that we will have a high turnout during that time. It's a safe and secure procedure because you show up in person in our in our office, you show your photo ID, we check you in right there and you it's the same process as if, if you were on election day at your polling place. Okay. Um, you know, I know one of the things we want to talk about, you kind of mentioned this uh, a little bit ago, was uh, the public, you know, getting involved um, and obviously uh, want to, all the public to come out and vote and yes. maybe be able to, to view the ballot beforehand and, and be educated on uh, what they're voting about. Yes, absolutely. So the one thing is, is now on our website we have where you can go in and once um, after September 24th, you can go in, put your address and find out your sample ballot you will be voting on. Also, with all the mistrust, like you said, and things that are going on with elections these days and just misinformation, we want to make sure the public is involved. And so we, we want them to participate however they can. So we have opportunities for them to work the election on Election Day. We also have some opportunities for the absentee voting period because Missouri law allows for a Democrat and Republican judge to work together with everything we do for the election process. So those judges that you see there, one of them will be representing the Democrat Party and one representing the Republican Party while they're assisting the voters. So we need 
voters from both parties to come out and help with these elections. Well, you brought some uh, some handouts. Yes, uh, I did. Speaking of uh, the elections and being able to volunteer, uh, and you said these these are available at your office and other locations that maybe you you uh, have these at. Yes, and on our website, the information's on our website at CapeCountyVotes.com, um, and then people can call our office if they'd like to just to get more information. So let's look at uh, some of these. So this. This is titled Become a, a Poll Worker. Yes. Um, and again, it really goes back to, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about integrity of elections and so on and so forth and, and, and you know, asking the public to, to get involved. Yes. Um, so what are, what, are some of, what are some of the qualifications? So uh, election judges, that's what you're, what you're looking for? Yes, the, the term is either poll worker or Missouri refers to them as election judges. That's how the law reads. But um, they have to be a registered voter. Um, so uh, somebody registered to vote, it, it, well, they can be in our county or actually they can be from another county as long as it's in the state of Missouri. Um, but we try to use people from our county because people know those people. Um, those are the people we give per first preference to um, for people registered in our county. Um, so they just need to be able to read, write, and speak the English language, which is in the statute in the Missouri law. Um, and just be able, we can teach them how to work our check-in process. We give instructions, we give training on the laws and their ID requirements and those things prior to them working. So. And there is a there is an application process. Yes, so they can go online at CapeCountyVotes.com and apply right online, or they can call our office if they're not tech savvy, and we'd be happy to mail them an application, or they can stop by our office. So what uh, what does the day look like for someone? I know there's some training uh, beforehand, but if someone wants to be an election judge, what does the, the day of look like? Well, it's a long day, but a rewarding day. It'll be very busy, so the day passes by very quickly in a presidential, but it is about a 14 and a half hour day. I don't want to scare anyone off. <laughs> they <laughs> can take breaks, day. they can that take breaks, day. and we'll have other people there assisting them. But it's so rewarding to see these people and to get to be a part of the process, and especially this historic presidential election. So I think that um, now, if people want to get involved, there's opportunities for them to do so. Um, even after the election, we have a verification board that comes in, and they are part of the process of verifying that all of the election was accurate. And um, even to be part of that process, people could sign up to do that also. And you can earn some money. Yes, doing this. yes. It is volunteer work, but you're also going to have a payoff. We have a little bit of a stipend for those judges. So that's $150 for the day on election day for an election judge and then $170 for the supervisory election judges. We have two of those at each location just to make sure the election is running smoothly. We have 28 polling locations in our community, so I can't be everywhere on election day. <laughs> <laughs> so do they get assigned real quickly, like once they yes. are They've gone through the, the training. Do they get assigned randomly as to where they may be on a given day? Yes, we'll assign them a location. We kind of ask for where they would like to be placed. We try to accommodate, but not everybody can work at their favorite location. But we also have standby judges that are needed, and we'll pay them also for uh, being a standby judge uh, because we have call-outs even up until the day of election. So. Okay, and once again, what's that website? CapeCountyVotes.com. All right, Kara, thank okay. you so much. Thanks for having me. Stay tuned. We talk more election coverage coming up.